We start off the way that any good village starts. Five families. I put it on endless because I wanted to really see how far we could go with it. And everybody had so much hope. There was so much fortune and future here. This, this was a fresh start. <laughs> oh, what a shot. It's always good in Man Wars to start with building your basics, your granary, your storehouse, and putting workers in each individual area. That means they can take in your goods to make sure they don't get damaged by said weather. Then it's important to get those logging cabins going up. You need to be chopping down trees because, I mean, timber is one of the most powerful resources. I say powerful, it's how you stop people from being homeless. And that's what I wanted to do to start with. People, when they don't have houses, they get a bit angry. And we don't want anyone turning to banditry. Oh, a family has turned to banditry? No, 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 no. I don't know about that. It's June. Our first 90 days have passed. And of course, with the amount of houses we built, it's time to upgrade our village. I go for the plow to start with. I think that's probably a good one because I wanted to go mad on those farms. We're planning on having a lot of population here. So we're going to need to feed them. Oh, shit. Apparently, people need fuel as well. During June, the rains came. And I was focusing on picking those berries, making sure that we had enough food for the winter that, well would come eventually berries, berries. and to expand my village i need to start working on a church so stone cutters had to go down collecting those raw resources in order to turn into something a bit more useful on day 100 i decided to carry on expanding we needed more population which meant more houses we also need to scale with our food chicken coops would have to go in place on day 200 the church was finally built that meant people could now pray we could upgrade to level two houses which meant the income and regional wealth could start flowing and there was someone to bury the bodies 451 bodies Ooh. on day 300 we had upgraded our settlement which was time for a new development point and of course i went with trading we wanted to become a money powerhouse whether it was bringing in weapons and armor selling bows and bringing in food and selling bows and bringing in beer and selling more bows a year had passed and we hadn't got into any conflict we could see other kings and lords claiming land but i, I just didn't really care you know a nice little village of 30 people i was ready to be peaceful i didn't even want any other the regions i was very happy with what i had i didn't need to get into any fights why have the bandits stole my firewood right that's it okay there's that there's literally no bandits here there's no okay well i just i guess i'm just gonna take this then whoa that enemy lord has a big army it's all right. They, they're doing their own thing. As long as I keep peaceful, I don't want to take any regions. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> Day 400 sees us growing some herbs. And now, I don't know if there's actually that much you can do with herbs at this point in the game. It's supposed to stop people getting ill. I think you can just trade them. So I do that anyway, but I make them because I've got more money. Money is starting to flow pretty well. I'm selling some bows, and also, eventually, I start selling shoes and shields. It's a great income, mostly because my taverns need beer, and I have no fertility. In in the get in the in the game, I can't grow I can't grow barley, so I've got to import. Was that clear? I think that was clear. Okay, look, I know I said I was doing a peaceful run here, but there's some bandit camps that keep stealing my stuff. I'm just going to go and deal with them real quick. Yeah, just really fast battles, speed through it. I don't, I don't need to spend much time on this. As we edge up on a thousand days, it seems that Manor Lords has gone into full active mode. Bandits are on their way. We've got to defend, and we still don't have a very active town. People aren't that successful just yet. Okay, if we just keep our guys there, we can move around the edges. Archers, you fire in from the side. Beautiful. We're going to put them on firewood. That just means that they're hopefully going to fire a little bit faster. Oh, they're being charged. Oh, God. I, I, I think they could probably take them. I think... Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, the archers are dropping fast. We should probably get them out of there. Obviously, our infantry are doing a great job. And our archers are way faster than bandits. Okay, I'm going to start shooting back at them. Maybe try and kite them around a little bit. See if that works. Once our inventory have taken these guys out, we should be clear to go, though. Come on, lads. This way. Come round. Thank you. If we put our infantry full on attack, that should do the job. I'm hoping that we don't lose too many because we still only have about six... I was about to say 60 guys in our village. We're down to 43 men in our village. Or individuals. 
that's not ideal we're still gonna need people to do the farming just because you've died in battle doesn't mean you can't farm get back up get back to work walk it off you'll be okay okay we've almost killed that small group of clubmen <laughs> we're still kiting these guys of course our archers are just way faster so it's actually not an issue but we just lost so many archers there oh i should not have put that on fast forward mode there we go they've been dealt with and just fire into their backs that should be the bandit sorted possibly not the best way to conserve people we can recover i was right we were two years in and we had regained most of our population from that mini bandit raid but i was worried that a lot of our wood was starting to disappear forester lodges needed to be put down because we had to regrow a lot of what we had deforested if you're not careful you can destroy your berry bush deposits by chopping down too many trees around them so something had to be done we were now one those actually how many days were oh god this is so what we're on 42 months ahead now we were now 1277.5 days into the game and things were looking up our harvest was coming in we have three fields full of wheat so we're gonna have a large amount of bread food variety is gonna be off the charts meaning that people are gonna be happy population is gonna go up okay i am aware of the irony of me saying that people are gonna be happy whilst raising the taxes with the manor i should probably have changed that clip this lord is claiming somewhere else okay well just in case they attack let's import some spears you see i can make spears myself and i i think i will at some point but for now we've got plenty of money coming in i think it's best just to import some stuff because we still don't have enough to defend ourselves we're exporting enough war bows so i'm thinking that should be fine okay training's going pretty well let's just make sure we've got enough wood because well as you can see at the top we're running low on fuel that's our biggest issue at the moment but food's absolutely fine look at all these people farming now despite claiming to be peaceful i am aware that possible battles might be on the horizon so i think it's probably best to start upgrading my retinue i spent as much money as i possibly could which was not that much i'm not able to tax people that much just yet on day 1500 i decided to sit back we hit a hundred population not bad at all our farms were going pretty well also how good does this place look this game is goddamn beautiful i don't know if i've said it that many times but oh yeah there was another raiding party on its way i felt more prepared this time i don't i don't think they're gonna be too much hassle okay why are there so many of them there's four units it's all right hopefully my re i mean my retinue is not huge it's the best i could afford all right, let's go around this way. I need to start flanking with these archers because I don't stand a chance if I can't flank with my archers. Not yet. Cool. Some have routed. My guys are standing firm. It looks like this will be okay. Fighting in the rain is not ideal. It doesn't do well for my archers' accuracy, but we're getting there. And the last few just move around. Circle the last unit. <laughs> yeah, you don't stand a chance, mate. You've just been charged by retinue spears and pinged by archers. That is embarrassing on your part. How did they get around to burn my... Ugh. Okay, well, please repair that. Thank you. Sorted. As we upgrade our final points, we go for pelt extraction. I just thought it was the best idea. I wanted to really get some hides so we can make some better clothes. And of course, start trading boots. Boots get you a lot of money in this game. They're very useful. Okay, I couldn't be bothered. I don't have enough stuff to make linen. I can't make gambesons. I can't make chain melt. Well, I can, but I can't be bothered. So I'm going to trade. I've got so much money. Let's just bring all that stuff in. That's what I did. I set up one of the best trade routes ever. I was right next to the King's Road, which meant that all of this money was coming in as fast as possible. And I was starting to feel very, very rich. So I put the tax up. Of course I put the tax up. Putting tax up did mean that I could upgrade my retinue to a full 36 troops. Look, I, I'm, I don't make the rules here. They're bandits coming. I've got to deal with them with more men. These bandit armies were getting bigger and bigger, but I was able to deal with them pretty handily. There's not that much that they can throw at me that at least now I can't defend against. Just flanking around them with archers, sitting at them with your retinue and your spears is normally the best ways to win these games. I mean, archers have been massively debuffed, and I think that's a real problem because they can be useless. Have I given enough spoilers for the ending yet? 261 guys i think i'm doing a pretty good job now i just need to collect these areas up because i just hold on isn't that my area sorry let me just finish with this road who's i do oh this is mine okay sorry i've just hit my microphone because i was angry i, I need to get some mercenaries in here
I don't know if they're gonna get here in time though. Where do they? Where are they coming from? Oh, we'll pause. Um, mercenaries. Hello. Oh, can we? Okay. Well, let's just get them over here. Ah, okay. So it says they're coming from over there. Oh god, they're not gonna get here in time, are they? I rally my men and make the mercenaries run as fast as they possibly can. Getting into my region isn't too far, and it looks like they might just make it in time. But as the enemy army comes in, it is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. They are not going halves on this. That's when I remembered I've got the mod that makes all their armies a lot bigger. Shit. Okay, I'm, I think I'm just going to have to have like a, a big line. Yeah, charge in, go on. Retinue, you're going to go first. I can see if I can flank them. They're going around the edges though, but I'm just going to have to try and deal with whatever I can here. Yep, go, 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 yep. Fantastic work. Okay, let's pull a few back. Where are those mercenaries? I don't know if they're going to make it. Their archers are there. I can ping these pole arms in the back, though. They should deal with it. This is not a time for the camera to be glitching. Thank you. It's not going too badly. Swordsman versus Spearman, they're probably winning, but I do have my retinue there, which is helping quite a bit. There we go. These pole arms are being destroyed in the back. Okay, so archers can do something. Only if it's in the back, though. So, oh, God, they've got their retinue coming from my mercenaries. Luckily, I've got quite a few there. Despite this battle being terrifying, it still looks gorgeous. It is still one of the best-looking games I've ever seen in my life. Okay, our archers are finally here. We can now start to ping everyone in the back. That retinue is off on its own, but I think I can keep kiting them. Hopefully, I'll exhaust them, so by the end, they'll be useless. But for now, we've got a bit of a kill box in the middle. I'm going to try and bring as many archers over here as possible, and hopefully, that kill box should work whilst we <laughs> kite their retinue around. There we go. Let's line them up, point blank them, make sure they're on fire at will, <laughs> and destroy the hell. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Now, imagine if archers were still as good as they were in, well, the earlier versions, the early access version. These guys would be slaughtered instantly. And broken. I'm going to bring out my spare retinue. I definitely didn't just buy more of them. Okay, they're dealt with. It's just a couple of units of archers, and I think that should be it. Oh, no, my, my archers have been caught by the retinue. Keep moving. Get out of there. Get out of there. I've just realized I'm going to have to put the taxes up for like a lot because I don't have enough money to pay these mercenaries. And in 10 days, if they leave, it will be mid-battle. What do you want? Are you having a fucking laugh? How useless are archers now? Oh my god, I've killed one. Out of all those volleys, I've killed fucking one. How is... Look at all this! I've killed two men! I've killed two men! I've killed two men! No, everyone is so tired. I know you're tired, but pin them. <laughs> what is this, man? Broken. Kill him. Why are you moving back? Why are you... Why are you... Why, when I attack, do you reverse? Oh, I'm disbanding you. You go back to work. I don't want to lose any more of you. Start clearing up, boys. We've got... <laughs> We've got some work to do. Yeah, archers just don't do anything. Unless you can get them behind the enemy. They are useless. Don't you dare walk away. There we go. Oh, right, mercenaries piss off. I lost about 100 people. 451 bodies. Just as I thought it was all done, the battle had been won. The countdown kept on going. What does that mean? Go, go away. I'm, you're having a laugh. Why are you... Mm, you just... You're coming into my town now. I'm fighting you in the streets. How many? 
Guys, you're just gonna have to stand your goddamn ground as strong as possible. Not sure how possible that is, but you're just gonna have to goddamn do it, lads. Arrows just do nothing. They really are just doing nothing. No. I can't win two of these battles. Can I get any more mercenaries? No. Okay, that's gone okay there. I don't... That, yeah, this side is just going to be slaughtered, I'm going to be honest. We stood strong. We lasted a while. But it just wasn't meant to be. Stop moving backwards. Yep. Yeah, I've lost that side there as well. <laughs> it was a valiant, valiant effort. It really, really was. Goldhoff has fallen. The mercenaries will fight to the last man, though. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Rest in peace, Neuhoff. I, I actually don't know what happens when I, I lose completely. Oh, a family has turned to banditry. No, 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 no. I don't know about that. <laughs> I get my villages. <laughs> it's one family of bandits. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I'm just watching the village play itself now. <laughs> oh. Bye, town. Bye.